People, we have got some breaking news in regards to the whole Victor Ozerman saga. We have got some more information that has come out over the past couple of hours and some information that has come out over the past few minutes. I'm going to be breaking down everything that is happening right now in regards to Victor Ozerman and where he is about to go. Is it Chelsea? Is it El Ehli? I'm going to let you know the latest in regards to the whole Victor Ozerman saga. Before I do, do me a favor and smash the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you do subscribe, turn that bell notification button on. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's have a look at the latest tweet from Fabrizio Romano. Okay, so <clears throat> let me show you what Fabrizio Romano has tweeted and then I'll give you the breakdown as reported by Ben Jacobs. So Fabrizio Romano says, Plan revealed now confirmed. An Ehli delegation has arrived in Italy for talks with Ozerman and his camp. Contract on the table with release clause as Ozerman wanted. Is it the contract that Ozerman wanted or the release clause that Ozerman wanted? Or is it both? Because when, you ask, when I show you what he has demanded for the contract, it's a hefty package, lads. I'll show you what he has want, what he has requested in a minute. Chelsea in active talks with Ozerman on his salary. So Chelsea are still in there and they are still talking with Victor Ozerman in regards to his salary. An early deal only happen if Chelsea talks collapse. So Victor Ozerman, his main priority is to go and sign for Chelsea Football Club. Provided he gets what he wants in respect to the contract. If he doesn't, then he will go to El Ehli. El Ehli is his second choice. Chelsea is his first. There's another tweet that I want to share with you from Fabrizio Romano. So this is the tweet that Fabrizio Romano reposted, and he is confirming this is still the state of play as it stands. Understand, Chelsea and Ehli remain the two clubs in active talks with Victor Ozerman, and Ehli is still trying to convince Ozerman uh, after agreement on a 65 million euro package with Napoli. Chelsea are still attentive as contacts are ongoing. Separate story from Sancho, no bid from PSG. Now, let me show you what Ben Jacobs has tweeted in regards to what Victor Ozerman is actually requesting from El Ehli. And this is quite quite a big request so ben jacobs says this saudi sources say victor ozerman wants at least 30 million euros per season lads that's like that's like 577 thousand euros per week five seven seven thousand euros per week roughly um, per season to consider El Ehli. With bonuses, taking the salary package even higher. So he's not just happy with that. He also wants bonuses. So these bonuses are probably, you know, um, matches played, goals scored, image rights, you know, things of that nature. So he wants more on top of this. He also wants, Osman would also expect a release clause. With Napoli likely to take a sell-on from it rising from it raising the potential package value a bit closer to the original 100 million euro plus evaluation. So Victor Ozerman is also asking for a sell-on clause that would then benefit Napoli. Why is he asking for that? I don't know. You know maybe he wants to make it easier for, for the deal to go through or for him to actually you know, uh, leave. Um, a sell-on clause is different to a release clause. So I can understand why he would want a release clause, but a sell-on clause, uh, we, we need to dissect that a little bit further. Um, in the past, and even with more time left in previous windows, El Ehli have given players just 48 hours to decide. But Ozerman is being allowed to take his time to negotiate so far. So, you know, they're showing, they're showing him respect. They're showing him a, uh, a bit more courtesy. Um, as they know, there is uh, potentially someone else involved and they don't want to rush this deal. 
But at the same time, I'm thinking they want to sign a striker. They can't wait for too long. So 48 hours. So by Thursday, by Thursday evening, by um, there literally is only 48 hours left in the window. So that you know that is it. Um, Osman is keeping all options open, but Chelsea will move on to another target if the Nigerian striker does not agree to fit in their wage structure. A lot to get through here. So, Chelsea will likely pay Osman above the wage cap. They will also, and they have also offered to give him an incentive-driven salary. Meaning, the more you play, the more you score, the better we finish in that table. Potentially, your salary will be a better one. That being said, how much are they offering him? Because if he's asking north of half a million a week from El Ehli, no way are Chelsea going to be paying that. No way are Chelsea going to be paying that. I don't think Chelsea will even consider paying him 300 a week. They have paid that type of salary to other players in the past. But these new owners <clears throat> haven't. Have they? Don't think they have. Um, and if they have, they've stopped doing it. Okay, so these new owners are trying to reduce the wage bill. They don't have a problem paying over the odds when it comes to uh, transfer fees because they can spread the cost out. But salaries, they're being very, very careful with. So... Are they going to offer him a decent salary? I think the ballpark figure needs to be a, needs to be, needs to be better than what he was getting in Napoli, which is from I think one hundred and ninety to one hundred and to two hundred and twenty a week, depending on you know which source you use for, for those figures. But let's say he was getting two hundred and twenty a week. Chelsea would need to up that, and that's two hundred twenty um two hundred twenty thousand euros a week. So if Chelsea were to pay him, let's say, £250,000 a week, would that be enough, including the incentives, when he's actually demanding that salary from El Ehli? I think if El Ehli offer him that bag of north of, a, north of a half a million a week, and he does decide to come to Chelsea, it tells me that this lad is thinking about his footballing career and footballing achievement rather than purely financial gain. Purely financial gain, and Ehli is where he, where he would be going. That is the situation with Victor Ozerman as it stands right now. So I've given you the latest information. I still need to get my, my head around it in regards to you know how is this going to pan out. Personally, I think it's a tricky one. Does he go for football, career, reputation, legacy, history? Does he go for the money? That is where he has to, you know, has to make up his mind. If he if he is truly about his legacy, Chelsea is where he can build that legacy. He's young. He's 24. I think he's 24 going into 25. He has a lot of football uh, still in him. And for him to come to Chelsea with this core of players, potentially he could be a Champions League winner. Potentially he could be a Premier League winner. I, I know you guys are thinking more is reaching. More is reaching. No, I, I, I'm optimistic. I think my club does have it within themselves to do that. Will they? Time will tell. Victor Ozerman staying at Chelsea Football Club. Victor Ozerman coming to Chelsea and staying at this club. He could build that legacy. He goes to El Ehli. He will be set for life. He will be set for life. But his footballing career will not be developing in the same way. At least for the next two, three years. 
So when he is 27, 28, maybe you know he'll come back to Europe. Maybe he'll have one last chance at some some uh, some triumph, some some history, some legacy, some I don't know. But we'll have to wait and see how this pans out. And lads, we, we we've got a couple of days before this whole thing comes to an end. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for your support and thank you for your attention. And I will be giving you more updates as and when they come out. And I know I'm uploading late these days, but news is coming out late. So big up to you. Thank you for your, um, for your support. And I will um, see you in my next upload. Take care, stay safe, and peace.